whatever it is you're shooting. So if you were a, a well-prepared person, you would have ready measured charges of powder to match whatever you shoot. Okay, so we start by making sure that the gun is, is completely clean. We have a scouring stick or a worm. This down the barrel of the piece. And we would make sure that there isn't anything still in there. Turn it round like a cork screw just to make sure that we catch it in the back of the piece. And then we pull it out totally clean, safe to shoot. I'm doing it because I wish to use the skin. And lye is a liquid that is made from wood ash and water. And once I've done that, I'll then place it into a empty cup of Actually, Ted might in the It's a 12 ball. Yeah. Okay. Um, when you're using a uh, ball, it is, no, it is it's just a little bit more of a kick. More yeah. Not much. Uh, you've got a bad tooth. Doctor, you can take your tooth out with that. Now what I'll do with this, nice, <laughs> I'll find out if you've got a bad tooth. If I, if I hit a tooth and it hurts more also, I know there's something wrong with the tooth. And if I see a hole within it, I'll place this on the hole. And you know why the tooth hurts when you have a hole in it? It's because there's a worm in it. Worm. So you place this on the hole and you push this through and it kills the worm. It's within the hole. Shortbread. Aye. A good Scottish recipe. <laughs> Open Air Museum this morning. Thank you very much for coming out today and bringing the weather with you. The big shouty one of a group of the Suffolk Free Company. Huzzah! Huzzah! God save the Queen! God, God save, save the Queen! Queen. Um, and, uh, we Captain, are, Captain, noticed, Captain! Oh, what? I did not hear them say God save the Queen. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, actually. It is. Come on! Right, God save the today. Queen! God save the Queen! Now your Queen is uh, Elizabeth, second of that name. Our Queen is also Elizabeth. Huzzah! Our Queen is also Elizabeth. Huzzah! Good Queen Bess, defeater of the Spanish, and a fine lady to boot, I believe. So Sir Walker Raleigh before me. Uh, we're here this morning um, to run, wash away and blow away a few cobwebs and for that we are going to do some 16th century sword work for you. They're all swords in one form or another. One of these fellows over here this morning, you may, if you were here right early enough, you would have seen Charles on the end here and Kit um, indulging in some old fashioned sword play using weapons such as this. Most old fashioned, this is an arming sword of the times when knights would ride on. Oh, they hardly ever rode on shiny horses, wore shiny armour, it was always dirty and horrible. But on the whole, this is from the time of our, our Queen's grandfather, Henry VII. They had from Italy and the like. And here you can do not have the room in an alley. I'm going to get out of the way here. You do not have the rooms in narrow streets to swing your swords thus to side to side. You can only go backwards and forwards. A rapier has grown quite long. This, in truth, is quite a short rapier blade. Some rapier blades are over four feet in length. This is most because you can meet Do we have anybody here this day from mayhap Spain? Mexico, close enough.
Yeah. Yeah. 